Hey, you guys. So while driving, God dropped something else in my spirit. I was trying to listen to a message, but God was still dealing with me. Um, and he was telling me pretty much about um, what is a blessing to God's children, the gifts and anointings um, that he have gifted his children is a curse to someone else right and then god began to like download all these different like examples to me in the bible about curses about how people curse themselves whenever they go and try to steal something that don't belong to them all right um this ties into the previous message where god was talking about how was dealing with me about how the enemy is trying was trying to um steal people steal his children gifts and anointings and stuff like that during this time during rituals during doing spell work and whatever they do and god reminded me of the story in the bible about the ark of the covenant right um during war the philistines stole the ark of the covenant from the israelites and every time or every place they had took that ark of the covenant the place was cursed all right because god the ark of the covenant was ordained for the israelites it was not ordained for the philistines so they stole something that didn't belong to them right so everywhere the philistines took the ark of the covenant that place was cursed they the people began to die they began to get sick um, plagues and all that good stuff because they had something that didn't belong to them they stole something that wasn't theirs and it's ties into the like the last video plot twist what is a blessing to you will be a curse to someone else i'm gonna repeat that again what is a blessing to you will be a curse to someone else your gifts your anointing the favor and a calling over your life. The enemy can't contain it all. He won't be able to contain it. Because what God has for you is strictly for you. He, When he created you, before he put you in your mother's womb, he knew you. So what he placed inside of you is strictly for you. Because he knows you can handle it. What God has gifted you, the enemy can't handle. The enemy is not going to be able to contain. What was a blessing to you is a curse to the enemy. All right. And that story is pretty much in the book of Samuel. Um, 1 Samuel chapters 4 through 8. Okay, the Philistines the deleted, defeated the Israelites in the war and took the Ark of the Covenant of God. After being tormented by various plagues, the Philistines returned the Ark. Samuel exalted the Israelites to um, repent and return to the Lord. Okay, um, exhorted the Israelites to repent and to return to the Lord. That's, this is a summary, okay? But, because it wasn't the Philistines, everywhere they took this ark, the ark of the covenant, they were cursed. All right. To the point to where they had to return it back because they were cursed. So what is a blessing to you will be a curse to someone else. That's why God said plot twist. Because they're thinking they're doing you a disservice by trying to steal your gifts by trying to steal your anointings by trying to steal your ideas and it's about to be a curse to them it's not going to be blessed because it was ordained specifically for you god also dropped in my spirit when people steal and do these things out of jealousy and envy they don't know that they're putting a curse on themselves they don't know that they're creating a generation of curse i'm gonna give you an example we know that Jacob in the Bible stole his brother's birthright, right? Out of jealousy and envy from his mother, Rebecca, okay, telling him to steal his brother's birthright. All right, because of that, that same curse of jealousy and envy 
continue to flow throughout the bloodline with his own children. Joseph, remember? His brothers were jealous and envious of him because of his gifts and his dreams. So that's why they threw him in the pit. All right? But it created a generational curse. It created a generational cycle. Okay? And that's why Joseph had to go through. But the curse, it ended with Joseph. But that's why Joseph had to go through some of the things that he went through because of the generational curse that through, through, that, that flowed throughout his family, which was jealousy and envy that started from his father. All right? And even though Jacob stole the birthright from his brother, his brother still went on to be blessed. His brother still went on to have a prosperous life. So did Jacob. But Jacob had to live with that generational curse of jealousy and envy. And Jacob had to live with that curse of his sons doing a similar thing or doing jealousy and envy or getting mad to try to get rid of the brother, to get rid of Joseph. Okay? So people don't realize whenever they are doing these things, whenever they are stealing and trying to take, trying to take things from you, they're putting a curse on themselves. I'm going to give another example. Even when it comes to God's children, anointings and gifts and ideas and how people try to steal your gifts and ideas and go run with it and do it yourself when God didn't ordain them to do that. So I'm going to give you an example. So with me, I had several ideas that God placed within me to do as far as business, right? Just me talking, um, saying the different things that I want to do. I had several people to run off with those ideas and start a business themselves. To this day, will not give me credit where they, where they got it from. But do you not know that their business is not prospering? It might have started off that way. It might have started looking like they're prospering. But do you not know their business is not prospering? Because they stole something that was originally ordained for me. What God has for me is for me. Um, yes, God tells us to move in secrecy and silence. But when God strictly tells you to do it, that means you are, have been anointed and you have been ordained for it. And so when these people try to go run off and steal it, it might prosper for a little while. But after a while, what they thought was blessed is going to be a curse to them because they stole something that wasn't ordained for them. Just like with the Ark of the Covenant, where the Philistines stole the Ark of the Covenant from the Israelites. So God is saying, again in this hour for his children, what is, a, what is a blessing to you is a curse to your enemies. And that's deep. What is a blessing for you is a curse to your enemies. Your blessings is a curse to the enemy when he tries to steal it, when he tries to attack it. All right? So... Just wanting to come and drop and drop this word that God had gave me in my spirit. Y'all, just stay prayed up, stay fast up, but don't even worry about it. Because these people that's trying to steal your ideas, that's trying to send these monetary spirits to go off and run what God had gave you, it's going to be a curse to them. It's going to be a plot twist. All right? They're about to be like this Philistines that stole this Ark of the Covenant, which I talked about this before in another video. And they're going to be cursed with a curse. For taking and touching something that don't belong to them. For touching God's children. Because we don't belong to the devil. We belong to God. For touching God's children. We are touch me nots. Alright? Touch not my anointed. Do my prophet no harm. So, just want to come and share this again. And encourage y'all again. That what is a blessing to you is a curse to someone else. All right, you guys, I love you all. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will chat with you all later.